what's going on guys the horror man back with the next review of the fangoria challenge this time jason and i watched the unearthing the unearthing is a 1994 horror film also known as a swang that was the title used when it was released on dvd but as you can see, this Prism VHS release used the title The Unearthing. That's also the title Fangoria used in this book, where it's considered one of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. A Swang is probably the more fitting title though, and I like to pronounce it as Aswang, because that's funnier. Ass Wang. Everybody say it out loud. The Unearthing may be the wackiest, most bizarre movie Jason and I have watched for this challenge yet. It's definitely one of those, what the hell did I just watch movies. Keep in mind, I mean this as a compliment. The Unearthing was awesome. A young pregnant single woman is paid by a man named Peter to pretend that she is his wife. His rich family owns a huge estate and he cannot inherit it unless he has a child. His current wife, unfortunately, is unable to bear children, so he hires the young pregnant girl to pretend to be his wife. She now must go by the name Janine, in front of Peter's mother and the maid, Cupid. Cupid. What a stupid name. I guess it's better than Asswang, though. Speaking of the Asswang, or a swang, as it's actually pronounced, Peter has an art collection featuring the creature. The aswang is a vampiric beast that feeds in a disturbing way. But this is not your typical vampire movie, and believe me when I say that. There is something very sinister going on at the estate, and young Janine is about to find out if something seems too good to be true. It probably is. The Unearthing is a vampire film, but it's also like Rosemary's Baby meets The Evil Dead meets The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like I said, it's far from the typical vampire movie. Peter's family is absolutely insane. Think of Leatherface's family with a vampire twist. There were some camera shots that were very reminiscent of The Evil Dead. The film started out as if it would be a Rosemary's Baby ripoff, so initially I thought I could recommend Witchcraft. But then The Unearthing became so much more. So instead, I've decided to recommend Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation, or Return of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is like the director's cut. Both versions of the film are included here on this Scream Factory Collector's Edition. I honestly had no idea what to recommend for The Unearthing. It's so unique. But TCM4 was also released in 1994 and somehow has the same feel as The Unearthing. It's the crazy family aspect. There is a certain scene in The Unearthing that reminded me of Matthew McConaughey in this movie. There is also literally a chainsaw wielding family member in The Unearthing. More than that though, The Unearthing, while it is technically a vampire film, is so much more. The same way TCM4 is a slasher film, but so much more. This sequel gets a lot of hate, and in my opinion it's undeserved, because I think it's great. And so is The Unearthing. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And, as always, Please be sure to check out Jason's review. I know for a fact he loved it too. What will we watch next for the Fangoria Challenge? Check back soon to find out. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.